Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Only in jihad. These are people only believe in jihad. They don't want our system. They don't want our system. And have no sense of reason or respect for human life. They have no respect for human life. Mama Balka wrote a letter to the presidential candidate in a Facebook post that's now gone viral. In it, she responds to Trump saying, in part, I heard you wanted us to start wearing ID badges, so I decided to choose one for myself. I chose the peace sign because it represents my Islam. I wrote that letter because I needed to say the truth. I needed to stand up for what was right. I needed to counter-argue his rhetoric and try my best to spread my truth, my message of what Islam really is. Because Donald Trump stands up there with his hateful, discriminatory, wrong message and it skews the minds of millions of people. And he's proud to do it and he loves to do it because he knows that's how he's gonna get voters. You said one time in an interview that there, and just recently, that there's a, there's a, you said on O'Reilly actually, there's a Muslim problem right. in this world. What, what do you mean by that exactly? Well, Bill O'Reilly asked me, is there a Muslim problem? And I said, absolutely yes. In fact, I went a step further. I said, I didn't see Swedish people knocking down the World Trade Center. Fear mongering is the easiest way to stand up on a, on a pedestal and say, those people are trying to attack you. Those people are coming for you, but I'll protect you. I'll protect you. He paints himself as this hero when in reality he's the biggest antagonist in the entire lineup of presidential candidates. Fuck those goddamn Muslim pieces of shit. Is that what you wanted? Is that you can put that up and all your really. communists can jack off together and say, oh, the mean conservatives said something mean. Ooh. Who's bombing buildings? Who's bombing airplanes? It's not the Christians. It's not the Jewish. It's not the Buddhists. It's the Muslims. You got that on camera, sport? We seem to not be learning from our mistakes. There is a romanticized vision of how this country was founded. But in reality, this country was founded on the blood of Native Americans, on the violence against slavery. It was founded on discrimination against blacks, and then Jews, and Japanese, and now it's the Muslims. And when are we gonna start learning from our mistakes and really embody the indivisible part of the Pledge of Allegiance. We have so much in common. And most violent acts that are committed around the world are usually fueled by religion. Violent, mentally unstable human beings that take passages, twist their true meaning and use it as a justification for their heinous acts. They said they were fighting for Islam and justice. They were lying to us. They took advantage of our minds and our poverty. Whenever ISIS goes into an area, the eyes of ISIS, the people there who don't adhere to their Islamic law, are apostates. Everything has to follow ISIS's way. Even women who don't cover their faces. Women would also get their heads chopped off. I am a hundred percent, I am who I am because of my mother. Because I grew up um, during the time of 9-11. I grew up going shopping with her and going places and watching uh, discrimination happen towards her and seeing how she handled it. My mom would always fire back. She would always try to right a wrong. She would try to have a conversation first. If, if someone said something discriminatory to her, she wouldn't react angrily. She would be like, well, why do you think that? Or she would try to spark a conversation and try to create some kind of dialogue to um, eliminate the prejudices. And so I am who I am in regards to my fighting spirit because of my mother. <laughs> I'm glad, you know, I wanted to be this way, you know, I don't want to just, you know, go to school and eat and wake up, you know, I wanted to be, you know, uh, active. 
active and tell the truth and educate people about culture, religion, whatever, because um, I know there's a lot of good things in you, so why not to not share, you know? Why should, be, why should you be afraid of? Nothing, you know, because this is a free country, you know? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عبدون ما عبد ولا أنا عبد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عبدون ما عبد لكم دينكم واليدين And the translation for that is Say, O ye that reject faith I worship not that which you worship Nor will ye worship that which I worship Nor will I worship those whom you have worshipped nor will you worship that which I worship. To you be your way, and to me mine. Peace be with you.